Hey y'all, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations. I know it's been a hot minute since I've been on here. I needed a little bit of break and I took it. So I am now back and I'm going to show you how to make this motherhood tumbler here. It's super easy, super fun, and it's one of my favorite cups to make and you can just really be unique and creative with it. So I'm going to start off with a 30 ounce skinny stainless steel tumbler from Makerflow. And I've got some 220 grit sandpaper here and I'm going to give this tumbler a really, really good sand down. So basically we're just going to really rough this tumbler up so that the paint and epoxy and everything grabs on really well. This is part of the, uh, the prep process and it's how I like to do it. So sand it down and then I'm going to take it to the sink and wash it down really good with some Dawn dish soap. And after it is clean, I am going to dry it off stick it on a football and then I'm going to take a little it's kind of like a little cotton face wipe thingy I get them at CVS it's a little round thing I've got some acetone on it and I'm just going to wipe it down really good with acetone and then I'm not going to handle the bare stainless steel tumbler anymore once I wipe it down with the acetone so I've got this Krylon color max this color is called regal blue you can use any color really that is similar to the glitter color that you're using. So I painted this tumbler and I'm going to let the paint completely dry. It, this is kind of a glossy color, so it took a couple of hours for this color to completely dry. To get this cup ready to glitter up, I'm going to put some epoxy on it. This epoxy here, this is Tumbler Epoxy 2.0, and I'm using about 15 milliliters of epoxy I'm using a little bit more than I would to apply the glitter via the, epo via the epoxy method because I'm using a chunky glitter. I find that if you use a chunk, if you use a little bit more epoxy than just like a super, super thin layer, whenever you're using a chunky glitter, you're able to get it to lay down on the tumbler better. That's why I'm using 15 milliliters here. So I'm going to mix this epoxy up really, really well. I've probably mixed it for a solid like three, four, maybe even five minutes. I mix it until I start to feel it getting ever so slightly warm in the cup and it's crystal clear. Cause if you, if you, if you mix it and you see any kind of like streaks in there or anything like that, then it's not thoroughly mixed. You want it to be very clear and that shows you that it is mixed all the way through. So with a gloved hand, I am applying the epoxy all over the tumbler and I'm making sure that I get the epoxy on nice and even and smooth all the way around. You want a good coat on there. And once I'm certain that I've got epoxy all over it, I will take one finger and I will just run that one finger up the cup as the cup spins all the way around the cup until I get it smooth everywhere. And then I swipe the bottom, make sure you don't forget the bottom down there. And this glitter that I'm using, it's a color shifting glitter from KCC Glitter. It's called Mermaid Scales. It's like a blue greenish color shift and y'all, it is so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my little torch here and pop the micro bubbles. I'm again showing the glitter color. And it's so hard to see the color shift in this video. I don't, I don't know why this video won't pick up the color shift, but it is so pretty in real life. It is just, it's a blue and green shift. You can kind of see it a little bit in the video, but just the video just doesn't even do this glitter justice. And I'm doing it in this one, in this color, because I have a boy and so boys like blue. So that's why I'm doing it in this color. I also have some awesome color shift, um, pinks and purples and stuff like that, that I can show you later on. I'm trying to get that color shift on video. What I did there was I took some parchment paper and I just patted down the tongue all over the tumbler, patting that glitter down because if you pat it down really good, once it's dry, it's going to, it's going to really help a lot. So once that glitter, that epoxy dried, I went ahead and sprayed the cup with this Rust-Oleum 2X Gloss Clear. I sprayed it down really good. And what that does is it helps prevent the glitter from kind of repelling the epoxy. So, you know, the glitter is like the chunky glitter is nice and smooth and on the, on the big chunks. And so it will sometimes kind of try to kick that epoxy off. And by spraying it with the Rust-Oleum Clear, 
it it helps it to it helps that epoxy to bond on and not really re repel off in any areas so i've got 30 milliliters of tumbler epoxy 2.0 mixed up here and i'm gonna go ahead and do two coats of epoxy over this glitter and I'm going to let the epoxy completely dry between each coat. I'm not showing the second coat because that would be a little bit redundant. So this cup has now has two coats of epoxy on it. It's completely dry. Tumblr Epoxy 2.0 dries pretty quick. So here I have got a flat razor and I'm just knocking off any of those little pricklies off the top of the cup. Don't ever cut towards yourself. Um, as you can see, I knocked the pricklies off the top just helping to make it smooth so I don't wear out my sandpaper quite as much this sandpaper here I buy on Amazon I'll have it linked down in the description box below it has a sticky back on it and what I love about the sticky back is as you can see in this video it sticks to my hand so it it just makes it very maneuverable and makes it really easy to handle and I can feel any little bumps or anything like that so this glitter here, um, it lays down really smooth under Tumblr Epoxy 2.0. So I didn't have to do a whole lot of sanding on the body portion of the tumbler. I just did quite a bit around the upper rim and then the bottom. So I'm just, I'm showing you the mermaid scales, oil slick. These are a couple other colors that you can use. Raspberry balm, and these are all color shifting. Esmeralda, that's one of my favorites. It is a purple color shift and dragon tail. So just if you want to check out any of my color shifting ones on the website, kccglitter.com under the color shift section and we have some really beautiful colors on there. So now I have got some vinyl. This is Oracle 651 vinyl. I don't leave it on. Whenever I'm doing the peekaboo method, I don't leave it on very long because the Oracle 651 vinyl sticks really well. If you leave it on there for too long, it makes it really hard to remove later. So I am using it as a stencil to make this cup. It, this is a total trust the process type cup, but it turns out so cute afterwards. I cut this vinyl with my Silhouette Cameo. I have a Silhouette Cameo 4 bought it on Amazon and I will have that linked in the description as well. I I personally prefer Silhouette. I know a lot of people ask the question, well, Silhouette or Cricut? I've never used Cricut. I'm very comfortable with Silhouette and I love Silhouette. So I'm just going to put these marks and footprints and everything just kind of randomly all over the cup, but I want to leave some space because I am going to I'm gonna take just some scrap vinyl that I have and I'm going to put it over spots where I wanna create like kind of worn looking marks. And by using the scrap vinyl, you'll see what I mean here in just a little bit. It creates less work for me in the long run. So I just showed my scrap vinyl over there on the side and I'm just taking a couple pieces and putting them over the top. Like I said, it doesn't have to be pretty. You don't have to make exact cuts or anything for this and you'll see what I mean here in a little while it just makes it to where I don't have to do as much like scrubbing and elbow grease later on and like I said before like these don't have to be perfect just kind of cut them in any kind of little odd shape that you want to and you can adjust it later with whenever we go in with the acetone and the rubbing alcohol so I think I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to go in with black spray paint first. Uh, this is just a Krylon flat black and then I'm going in with Krylon matte white. After that, I personally really like to use Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum seems to be really hard to find right now for some reason for me. So I'm going with Krylon. So I painted it black. Once the black was completely dry, I took it outside and I painted it white. So. Here it is painted white and it is not fully dry yet, but I did this last night and I wanted to I wanted to peel it off while the before the vinyl got really good and stuck to the tumbler because if you let it sit for a day or two, it makes it very difficult to pull that vinyl off later and I, I wanted to pull it off last night, which is what I did. That's why the the paint wasn't all the way dry um, because I wanted to go to bed and I didn't want it to be like super stuck 
tomorrow morning whenever I went to go pull it off in the morning. So that's why I'm doing it when it's still a little bit wet. I don't recommend doing it when it's wet because it just, it makes it extremely hard to scratch. You definitely want to be careful whenever you're pulling this vinyl because it is really super easy to scratch even when the paint isn't wet. So my hook tool, it's, um, it's just a weeding tool that I got on Amazon. I got like a little pack of them and I have those linked down in the description box below as well. I can't remember if I mentioned earlier or not, but I do want to mention it again. So the design, the, uh, the motherhood design, I actually found it on Etsy. I found it a few years back, but when you get on Etsy, if you just search um, motherhood SVG, this design will show up. So what I'm doing now, now that my paint is all the way dry, I've got some acetone and a paper towel. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to kind of like rough up around the edges of where my vinyl was. I'm gonna leave the scratch marks and the footprints and stuff like that alone, but I do wanna go in on these pieces where I put the, just like my scrap vinyl, I wanna go in and kind of rough those edges up. And as I do that, as I remove the white and the black paint, the black kind of shows an outline on the white paint so it's really neat how it shows and I do I have a q-tip and then I've got some paper towels and once I kind of get the design how I like it I will take some 91% rubbing alcohol and you'll see me pull out the alcohol here in just a minute and I will just give it a really good wipe down with the alcohol so I kind of the acetone is really going to remove the paint very quickly the rubbing alcohol isn't going to remove it as fast, um, so I'm able to kind of use the rubbing alcohol to clean up a bit without removing too much of the white paint over the black. But the whole point of this is you really want that like distressed look. So just have fun with it. And as you can see, like, see what I mean by the, why I added the scrap vinyl. So back whenever I first made this tumbler for the very first time, I I didn't even think to put scrap vinyl down. And so I did all this rubbing to rub all this paint off of all these giant spots where I wanted the glitter to show through. So I saw, I, I can't even remember, years ago I saw somebody recommend throwing down some scrap vinyl and I was like, holy smokes, that's genius. It saves so much work and then you only have to pretty much like work on the outline of the area that you had, you know, put your vinyl down on. And y'all, <laughs> I apologize about my Kindle being there in the um, screen. I did not realize it was in the screen when I was recording. I love to watch Amazon Prime, Netflix, all of that stuff while I am working. I throw an earbud in my ear and I listen while I am making my tumblers. So y'all are basically apparently watching it with me. Now you can make this tumbler as neat and uniformed or just as messy as you want. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. I personally absolutely love seeing that beautiful glitter shine through underneath the spray paint. So I like to show more of the glitter than not. Um, that's why I kind of have so many large spots on here that I've peekabooed basically because I just, I love seeing that glitter. It's so pretty. And we are going to throw a little bit of um, like a micro glitter into the epoxy for our final coat of epoxy. So any like little imperfections or anything like that, I love using a micro glitter for because it helps to kind of kind of cover up any little imperfections. Like I won't lie, when I was pulling that vinyl and it was wet, I totally had a couple little slips. So this cup is not perfect, y'all but it's not designed to be perfect. So that's just, that's how this cup is. So for this last coat of epoxy, I've got 30 milliliters of Tumblr Epoxy 2.0 mixed up. And this is my micro dust. It's a silver micro dust. It is a super, super fine micro dust. And you literally only need, I just took a little teeny, teeny, tiny bit on the tip of uh, a popsicle stick 
and put it into my epoxy. You don't need much. If you add too much in there, it's gonna look silly, but just a tiny bit gives the whole thing a little bit of a sparkle. So over all of that white, it just gives it a little bit of a sparkle and it helps to kind of just like disguise any little imperfections that may be on there or anything like that. Highly recommend the micro dust on cups like this. If you don't want the white to be glittery, don't add the micro dust to it. It's no big deal. If you want the white glittery, I love glitter, obviously. So I love throwing a little micro, a pinch of micro dust in there. Um, so I'm just going to apply this epoxy the same way I did before. And look how like once the epoxy goes over the cup, especially those sanded areas, the colors just start to pop again. It's so satisfying for me to see epoxy go on over a sanded cup because it basically brings that cup back to life. And it's just, it's so pretty. And I will show a, a longer video at the end of this of a close up of the cup that I recorded with my cell phone. And it does help to kind of show the color shift on this cup a little bit more. And like I said, I do have some other color shift glitters on the website that are just stunning also. So I added the 30 milliliters of Tumblr Poxy 2.0 and look how smooth and pretty that is. And then I just went over it with my torch and I popped any little micro bubbles that were hanging out. So this is a close up and with my phone here, you can, you can really see the color shift on there. And this glitter is just so pretty in person. If you're looking for a good color shift, we definitely got them and I highly recommend them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button to see more videos like it. And as always, I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye.